Hi ladies, I want to share with you a few of my thoughts on Tehilim. The first is just the simple beauty in the unity that is creating a chain of Tehilim when we say Tehilim together, uh, for the aid of recovery of sick people, usually people we know, but even more special is when it's people we don't know. It's amazing how many people get together to read Tehilim, whether physically together in one place, or just from wherever they are in the whole world, you can have chains of hundred, hundreds of people reading Tehilim for the good of someone else. It's a constant reminder that we're, we're all together, we all can relate to each other through these Tehilim, and that we're all family, and we're all there to look out for each other. I saw a perfect example of this this very evening. I've just come back from a Zevedabat, a, a, a celebration of the birth of a daughter to a very good friend of mine. She had a daughter on Rosh Hashanah, on the anniversary of the death of Sarah Imenu, and they called her Sarah. She chose the name months and months ago, way before she knew what, what date she would have the baby, of course, and the baby was not born on the due date, so it's all the more special. And after the ceremony, after the rabbi blessed the baby, we all read Tehillim together. We all, sorry, we all said... Um, one of the psalms together, with our hands raised over the baby. There were about a hundred people in the room. It was extremely moving. I've never seen that before. I don't know if other people who are watching here know the custom. I've never seen that. Not at, at a brit milah and not at any kind of ceremony for a little girl. Um, and it was really incredibly moving. It moved me to tears because uh, there was a, a special energy in the room. We definitely felt Hashem was there. And it was just amazing to see the unity of everyone wanting good for this baby. Just after the little ceremony, my friend's husband told us the story of their son, who is my son's friend. He's 11 years old. And about two weeks after the baby was born, he was complaining of very, very severe stomach pains. It turns out he had to have an emergency operation for appendicitis. Now, this is a boy who has... A phobia it really is a phobia of any kind of medical equipment of needles of, of doctors and they have a difficult time any time that he needs to have an injection any times that he needs to take medication and here he was ready to have this emergency operation and uh, our friend the, the, the father was saying that just as he was being wheeled away into the operation room he asked the doctors to wait and he held his dad's hand and said please can we just say uh, a psalm together and our friend started crying as he was telling the story so it moved us all to tears and it was just really really very moving he said it, it was a moment that was stronger for him even that uh, prayer on Yom Kippur it was a very very special moment so that was very inspiring very moving um, and those are my thoughts for now see you soon